Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aries for your January 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are, okay? Anything could come up. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to traveling, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Aries, Aries blocks and challenges. Aries is blocks and challenges for January 2024. Like I said, this could be in any of your placements because anything could come up, okay? Five of Pentacles. You know, Five of Pentacles is a representation of financial obstacles and hurdles that you could be going through here, okay? It could be that you're dealing with insecurities here too, but, you know, with the Magician here, you do have all the resources at your disposal to overcome this financial struggle here or this personal hurdle that you're going through, okay? So we have the Five of Pentacles here and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, you see, I do feel like whatever financial obstacle that you're going through, whatever um, or whatever personal blocks that you're going through, I do see that you're overcoming it. Yeah, you know, one of the things I feel like it's taking a long time to sort of get to this point because I feel like you've dealt with a lot of trauma, a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, you might have like ran away from it or that you uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, you know, you would escape into this fantasy land here and not deal with your problems here. But I feel like this time around, I do feel like you're facing your problems head on because I feel like you're freeing yourself from these hurdles and you're finding stability and happiness at this time with the four of wands here. So there is a cycle with the a world card here that's closing out for you, okay? This difficult financial struggle, financial hurdle or personal hurdle that you're going through here, there is healing here, okay? There is recovery here, okay? So I feel like whatever you're going through, I do feel like things are about to get a lot better here. I do feel like things are becoming like very orderly if things have been you know out of order discombobulated or whatever we have the emperor here aries energy talking about the nine of wands here the nine of wands here and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces mm. why is this queen of cups here queen of pentacles eight of pentacles here you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like whatever insecurities that you've been going through here, I, I do feel like it might have affected your relationships here, your friendships, uh, or, or, or even romantically, just putting yourself out there, meeting new people, okay? I do feel like you want to work on repairing these relationships, perhaps a romantic relationships or these personal relationships here, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Eight of Pentacles here. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, there are people that, that are around you, supporting you, trying to get you out of this like funk here you know queen of cups here cancer scorpio pisces queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo and the eight of pentacles here okay what else do we have here for aries what else does aries need to know look out for work on when it comes to their blocks and challenges for january 2024 for aries for aries for aries okay Okay, so we have the two of wands here. So Aries, I do feel like moving forward, you will have some decisions to make here. This is interesting. I, I feel like this might have to do with love and romance here too, because I feel like because of the um, hurdles that you were going through here, I do feel like there were two people that you might have been interested in. And I feel like you have a choice between two people here when it comes to romance, okay? So perhaps this 
hurdle that you're overcoming here, uh, perhaps uh, things are becoming more and more clear to you. Perhaps you're having some sort of major breakthrough here. But when it comes to love, perhaps, yeah, you might have a decision to make, okay? Maybe this is a decision, just life in general, choosing something that is emotionally going to fulfill you. You know what I mean? So uh, let's see what else we have here with the two of the pentacles. You have, some, you have some decisions to make here. You have some big decisions to make here when it comes to romance. Yeah. I, I do feel like the hurdles, the insecurities that you're going through here, it really kept you, held you back from maybe pursuing somebody or somebody romantically here because there are two queens here, okay? It seems like uh, perhaps, you know, perhaps at some point here, Aries, you could have dropped the ball on these two individuals. Now, perhaps you could switch the roles if you want. Some, someone here could have dropped the ball on you, okay? Uh, we have the Knight of Swords here and the Justice card. You know, one of the, you know, one of the, yeah, I, I, I just feel like you could be also very laser focused right now. Very laser focused, trying to like heal from, you know, past life karma or something like that. Or trying to transmute your karmic debts, trying to pay off your karmic debts here. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you're doing a lot of releasing and healing at this time. Seems like you're rising from the ashes like a phoenix here. Things are really getting better here for you, Aries. Whatever obstacles that you're going through here, I, 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 or that you have gone through here, I feel like it's leading to like a, like a huge spiritual awakening. I'm also getting a ringing in my left ear here. So I feel like the universe is calling you to perhaps connect to like a higher state of consciousness here or a higher vibration here, okay? We have the hangman here, Piscean energy. Two of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay. Could be a situation. Multiple heartbreaks led to this huge spiritual awakening. Yeah. I feel like some here is getting a ringing in their ear. Yeah, this is like, kind of like something in the spiritual realm is trying to connect with you or that, you know, perhaps, you know, the ringing could also be an indication that there needs to be some sort of like recalibration in your energy at this time here. If you're like, you know, kind of like dealing with like low vibing people or that there's low vibing energy around you. I feel like there needs to be adjustments surrounding that here. Okay, the Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Justice, and the Nine of Swords, okay. I do feel like a lot of you guys have, or is dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety at this time here, okay? And I do feel like the ringing is giving you the opportunity or the chance to sort of like, it's kind of like reset, you know? Sort of like reset to recalibrate your energy here, to adjust your energies, make adjustments here, uh, not just with your own, but with other people in and around you here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm getting that, I'm getting a, a sense that, you know, you are being called by the universe to do something here for yourself. And perhaps it's to overcome that hurdle, that obstacle that you've been going through here. Okay. So, Aries. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.